our hands together for Jesus. And let's lift those hands before the Lord and just appreciate him. Thank the Lord in this second service. He has a word for you. He has a word for me. This is my service, which has been tagged Covenant Day of Escape. I am escaping today. Appreciate God for the great plans of escape he has for us. Appreciate God for every answer to prayer. He has been hearing our prayers. He has been answering our prayers. Father, we thank you. We give you the praise for every answer to our prayers. Receive all the glory. Receive all the honor in Jesus' name. Every word man receives is from a demanding heart. And that word is able to build you up. One minute, ask the Lord, Lord, send your word again my way. I am here. I am hungry. I am expectant. Send me your word that is able to build me up to live a sanctified life, to live a life above sin. The word that will make me to escape today. Father, I desire that word in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. Help us again in this second service to be in your presence and to receive from you. Grant us a hearing ear. Give us a heart that will understand. And as we stand here, give us the tongue to speak that word. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. As you sit down, welcome your neighbor on the right, on the left. Tell them you are welcome. This is your service. In Jesus' name. This early morning, I'm grateful to God. Jesus Christ, the head of the church. And I'm grateful to his servant for the privilege to come and share the word. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. This is your service. Say, this is my service. I am escaping. Praise the Lord. The prophetic focus of this month is godliness is profitable unto all things. From 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 8. And we are receiving the truth about godliness. Also the teaching series is understanding pathways to sanctification. Understanding Kuelewa the pathways jia to sanctification. There are ways that when we follow them, Kuna njia tukizifuata, we live a sanctified life. Psalms 23, Saburi tatu. verse 1 to 3. Moja hadi tatu. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me besides the still waters. Verse 3. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness. Not every path is of righteousness. So by the teachings that we will be receiving on Sunday and Wednesday service, may we locate the path in the name of Jesus. We received an opening part of the word in the first service and I am submitted to the grace of to continue in Jesus' name. God will not tell us to do what he has not engraced us to do. 
Mungu hata tuambia tutende kile ambacho hajatuneemisha kutenda. Whatever God puts a demand for us. Kile ambacho Mungu anauliza toka kwetu. The grace is available for it. Neema tayari ipo ya kutenda. Chapter 6 verse 14. Warumi 6. The grace to be sanctified is available. Neema ya kutakaswa ipo. It says for sin shall not have dominion over you. Kwa maana dhambi haitawatawala ninyi. Shout amen. Amina. Sin will not have dominion over us. Dhambi haitatawala juu yetu. For you are not under the law. Kwa sababu hamui chini ya sheria. But under grace. Bali chini ya neema. The grace that enabled you, enables you. Neema inayokuwezesha. To walk over sin. Kutembea juu ya dhambi. To subdue sin. Kushinda dhambi. To disconnect from sin. That grace is available. We receive it in this service. Anyone that is being dominated by sin, you are in the right service. The grace to dominate now, receive it in the name of Jesus. That's why Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 he says we come boldly to the throne of grace receive appearance in a throne of grace what do we do he said that we may obtain mercy we obtain mercy and then we find grace. In this service, may you find grace. We find grace. Helping grace. In the hour of need. In the time of temptation. There is a grace. Available to empower you and me to have dominion over sin temptations the traps of the enemy may we find that grace in this service that grace to go with you but sanctification is a choice and not a gift it's a choice Pastor, I don't have the gift to live holy. It is not a gift. It is your choice. Personal choice. It's not a family choice. It is not a couple's choice. A couple. Yes. It is an individual choice. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 30 verse 19. Every day you make a choice. Things are laid bare before you every day. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. That I have set before you life. And death. Blessing. Baraka. And cursing. Therefore. Basi choose. Chagua. I will not choose for you. Sita kujagulia. But I put everything there. Lakini meka kila kitu mbele yako. Make the choice. Fanya uamuzi. But I advise and suggest and direct. Lakini na kuelekeza. Choose life. Chagua uzima. And he says that both thou and thy seed may live. Ili uwe hai wewe na uzao wako. What is available in is made possible by choices. Living a sinless life is available. A sanctified life is available. But it can only be possible by choice. The choice you make per time. Not the choice that you allow the world to make for you. It's the choice you make by the information of the scriptures. The world may be doing something. But you must make your own choice like by the world. There are people who give excuse. Everybody is doing it. It looks fashionable. That is the choice that is set before you. But you must receive the grace to make the right choice. I choose not to smoke. I choose not to be a drunkard. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we are approaching 
the end of the year. And we have end of year parties in companies. And when they have those kind of parties, they buy all kinds of things. But they buy little sodas, you know. But there is another corner. They have this, they call them Johnny Walker and all these kind of workers. They are there. Expensive. And if you be Three thousand, four thousand, and beyond, and soda, soda, ninety shillings. So there are people who are torn between the two choices. They are not in this service, but they choose. Let me mix this one with soda, so that I also damage something in their company. It's a choice. And they know you that you have been telling them in January, I am fasting 21 days. Yeah, December is here. And they see you mixing something. That's what's going on. They say, it's better we take this. I don't know when else they're going to uh, dash us anything good. It's a choice that you make. Even if it is there and it is expensive. Daniel chapter 1 verse 8. Daniel made a choice. He will not defile himself. He, will, he purpose in his heart. Personally, we receive grace. Today, we receive grace to make choice against sin. Shout amen. I make a choice against sin. Understanding the path of sanctification, we look at the cost of ungodliness. We look at the cost of ungodliness. It's costly. And it can cost your life. So number one, it blocks access to supernatural breakthroughs. We are called to live a supernatural life. But sin reduces man to living natural life. You will not live natural life. Proverbs 1.23 Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. you. I will make known my words to you. When you turn, when you are reproved, you turn into the supernatural. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 20, 59 verse 1 to 3. It blocks the life of the supernatural. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, and it cannot that it cannot save, neither is here heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquity has separated between you and your God. So sin brings separation. Between you and the God who ushers you into the supernatural. He said, and your sin have hid his face from you. Verse 3. For your hands are defiled with blood and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue has muttered perversion. So our hands can stop God from helping us to walk in the supernatural. Our lips can speak lies. Perversion. Corruption and the supernatural is no longer our portion. May the Lord help us again today in the name of Jesus. Also, blocks access to um, eternity with Christ. Sin is committed to block 
our access to eternal life in Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, none of us will miss heaven. None of us will miss eternal life. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9. Know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. So any Anyone under deception, may that deception be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor idolaters, nor have effeminates, no abusers of themselves with mankind. Ten, no thieves, no covetous, no drunkards, no revilers, no extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. But let's look at verse 12. All things are lawful unto me. But all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me. But I will not be brought under the power of any. What that scripture is saying, there are things that are there that are unlawful. We are not permitted to be part of them. But also verse 12 is saying, there are other things, they are not dangerous per se, but you can become a slave of them. And after some time, they become an idol in our lives. Praise the Lord. So the Lord gives us discernment of what we should not be under. Shout amen. Amina. Every deception of hell must be broken today. I pray Naomba. that none of our family members will see death before they accept Christ. If you believe the same, shout amen. Amina. None of our family members that have not yet accepted Christ, they will not see death before they accept Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And finally here, repentance is the way out of this cost of ungodliness. Repentance has three things in it. God's servant expounded it in the first service. You must recognize you are wrong. I have seen people who they, they say sorry, but they, when you ask them, what are you saying sorry for? They also don't know. Why are you repenting? I just we are told to repent every time. That, that repentance is va is vanity. Is is in vain. Vain. It has no profit. Recognize. Tambua. Two. Confess the sin before God. Lord, I have lied. Baba limedanganya. Don't generalize. Be specific with God. I have fornicated. And the word has come my way. Forgive me. I have become a drunkard. Confess your sin. Number three. Then turn away. Change. The behavior. Oh, I am a man who insults people. Who insults people. Ah, when you provoke me. It is not godly. So you go and say, Lord, forgive me. My tongue releases insult. And then turn away from that habit. Your repentance is complete. First John chapter 1. Today, we, we receive grace to repent that we may not be disqualified in the race of destiny. Verse 8 to 10. First letter of John chapter 1 verse 8. If we say that we have no sin, 
we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Ah, pastor, lying is, this is white lie. I'm not talking about black lie. My lie is very white. It's just to help the situation. You know, we have renamed and re we have done naming ceremony for lies. It has been given good nicknames. That it may not look ugly. Lies are lies. Sin is sin. May the Lord help us. We confess. Verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us na kutu from all unrighteousness. Na you confess it. Unaungama. You go before God. I am a sinner Mimi ni mwenye on this matter. Kwa hili neno. Forgive me. Ni samehe. Cleanse me. Ni Set me free. Ni weke huru. Let the power take, be broken of this sin. Deliver my tongue from corruption. Deliver my mind from evil thoughts. Lord, no, this part I am on, I know it is not going to end well. I am here, Lord. Forgive me and help me. He is faithful. There is no sin that can intimidate him. He has the grace to forgive. He has the love to forgive. He has compassion over our lives. We receive it today. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Benefits of sanctification. There are benefits of sanctification. When you separate yourself to live for God, you enjoy benefits every day. And one of the benefits, you secure divine honor. 2 Timothy chapter 2, from verse 19. Joseph enjoyed honor. Though he was a slave. But they, he, they honored him, they like it or not. He was honored even in the prison. Though he was a prisoner. Though he was honored to the highest office. The Bible says, nevertheless, the foundation of God standed sure. Having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his. May the Lord mark you as his today. In the name of Jesus. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ. Depart from iniquity. We cannot be saying Jesus is Lord. And at the same breath on Monday. We are insulting people. We are called to depart from iniquity. You cannot be saying Jesus is Lord and praising him on Sunday. And on Monday. And I don't, they are not here. You are beating your wife. You are beating her. Something is wrong. Depart from iniquity. Praise the Lord. But in a great house, there are, are there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth. Some to honor, some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from this, he shall be a vessel unto honor. Sanctified. Meet for the master's use and prepared unto every good work. We receive grace to purge ourselves. We receive grace to turn away from iniquity. We receive it in the name of Jesus. None of us shall be disqualified from being a vessel of honor. Daniel was a man who feared God. 
he, will, he ever enjoyed honor. And the prophetess, she, she was a widow. She lived a life of sanctification. That you are a widow. You can live a holy life. You are single. You can live a holy life. Your husband is away. Your wife is away. You can live a holy life. It's a choice we make. And that choice is empowered by the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Pathways to sanctification. Isaiah 35. One of the most tough messages to preach is the messages, the message on certification and holy life. People will look at you like this. Because nobody knows your life. And for sure you don't know my life. But this is a necessary message for all of us. The Bible says, and a highway shall be there Verse 8. A highway shall be there. Away. A Isaiah 35, verse 8. Isaiah 35, and away. And it shall be called the way of holiness. Shall be called the way of holiness. There is a way called the way of holiness. We are called to walk in it. How do we walk in it? We must crave for endowment of the spirit of holiness. You must desire it. Don't say I am just a human being. And I live in among humans. Desire to live an acceptable holy life before Praise the Lord. Before you look at the outward, there are people who dress very, very, very holily. Yes. But inside, there is nothing holy. So holiness does not begin from the outside. It begins from the inside. Then it affects the outside. It begins from the inside. You have desired to live a holy life. By the spirit of holiness. Romans 1 verse 4. And declare to be the son of God with power. According to the spirit of holiness. So holiness is a spirit. You invite him in your life. He takes over your life. He empowers your life. Isaiah 59 and verse 19. While you face the warfare of sin. When the enemy is trying to bring you down, he says, But be when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of holiness, shall lift a standard against him. He lifts a standard inside of you. You make a choice. I will not follow this path. You make a choice. I will not fornicate. I make a choice. I am married. I will not be an adulterer. By the spirit that raises a standard. Because temptations are becoming more sophisticated in our time. They have names like friends with benefits. What benefits are you talking about? It must be a spirit of holiness that raises a standard that you may match your way to heaven in this corrupt generation. Number two. We must continue in fellowship with the saints. For you to walk in the pathway of sanctification, we must continue in fellowship with the saints. The Bible says in Psalms 84 verse 7, we receive strength 
Every one of us when we appear in Zion. So there is strength coming your way in the name of Jesus. I don't know what is meant on your part this week. I don't know what temptation and trap the enemy has between now and December 31st. But that you are in Zion receive strength. You shall overcome. You shall dominate. You shall walk over nothing will trap you why you are in the fellowship where strength is released praise the Lord Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25 verse 25 For not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together as the manner of Samis but exhorting one another and so much more as ye see the day approaching. So take advantage of fellowship. What happens? In the fellowship, we, we are accountable to one another. There is accountability in the fellowship. Oh, don't give up. Don't enter into that temptation. Also, there is encouragement in the fellowship to support us living a good and holy life. We are encouraged. The, the senior believers encourage the ones that are young in the faith. We have corporate prayer cover. When we come together and pray, corporate prayer, we are covered. We are covered to overcome temptation. Also, we learn from each other. Paul said in 1 Corinthians 11:1. Follow me as I follow Christ. So we are able to emulate others who are following Christ. Don't miss fellowship. Don't miss Sunday services. Don't allow your children to miss services. That they are on holiday now. It's not time for them to go for parties. At the expense of fellowship. Hold them in their hand. Put a rule in your house. My house has a rule. Everybody must go to church. Are you a visitor? Follow me or go where you normally go. But you must go to church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We receive grace for fellowship. I beseech all parents. Stop leaving your children at home. They would be hearing this message today. Temptations are creeping in for the youths. Temptations are creeping in to the young ones. Don't say they are young. Their time will come when they go to church. This is their time. This is their time. Do your part. God will do his part. Don't run for emergency prayer about your children when you have neglected them to TV and all kinds of things. Receive grace to bring them to church. Shout amen. amen. A sanctified life is impossible without faith. Is a fight of faith. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. You fight the good fight of faith. You resist the temptation to the point of the blood. I refuse this temptation. You think pastors, pastors are tempted, is it? In my early years as a pastor, a person came for counseling. But by the end of the counseling, they wanted to communicate to me. And since I went to that branch, they have not been sleeping. 
Yes. They have not been sleeping. They have been thinking about me. So how do you respond to such counsel? You can tell me after the service. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> but you must make a choice. So I introduced the person to my wife. I said, we will pray for you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Covenant of escape. Hallelujah. We are escaping today. We are escaping today. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 4. God's servant exposed this scripture powerfully in the first service. We all of us shall escape in the name of Jesus. It says, whereby are given unto us exceeding and great and precious promises that by this you might be partakers of divine nature. Having escaped the corruption Na that is in this duniani, through lust. Through lust. Most of the TV advertisements are lustful. They are things of this world. But you and me are escaping in the name of Jesus. We shall finish the remaining days of this year with testimonies. Every snare and trap to stop anyone from ending the year well. By the communion, it is broken. Biblical ways to escape. One. You must be born again. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 3. How shall we neglect? Hebrews chapter 2 verse 3. Praise the Lord. He says, how shall we escape? If we neglect so great salvation, which at first began to be spoken by the Lord, and was confirmed unto us by them that had him, we escaped by receiving Christ. John chapter 1 verse 12. As many as received him, he gave them the power to become, kufanyika, to become kufanyika, the children of God, wa mungu, the sons of God, wana wa mungu, the holy children of God. Wana wa mungu. We escaped like that. Na and hiyo. I want to encourage someone here. Jude chapter 1 verse 24. Moja there are people who have said over and a time, Kuna I don't zaidi. want to be born again. And then I fall. After and then I, I, I shame the gospel. He says now to him that is able to keep you from falling. You don't keep yourself. You submit to him to keep you. And he keeps you from falling. He will keep us from falling. So you escape by receiving Christ. Number two, you, put a, you must engage the word of God. Psalms 119 verse 8 I will keep verse 9 let's go verse 9 Whither shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed unto according to thy word you take the the word, verse 11. See, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against it. We must hide the word in our heart because that is where the temptation is most. If the heart turns towards sin, you will sin. But if the heart is guarded by the word, it is stable and it will not turn. May your heart not turn in the name of Jesus. Romans 12 verse 2. 
Karumi mbili mbili. You renew your mind Una huisha by the word of God. Kwa neno la you stop thinking like the world. Una kufikiri kama ulimwengu. You start thinking like Christ. Una kufikiri kama Christo. There are things you don't think about. Kuna mamba haufikiri. Because the mind is renewed. Sababu akili imehuisha upia. Number three. Ya tatu. We walk in the fear of God as a lifestyle. Na tembea kwa kicho chabua na kama desturi ya maisha yetu. Psalms 34. Zaburi 34. Verse 7. Saba. The angel of the Lord encamped around about them that fear him. Malaika obana kufanya kichoa awazukikia wa mchao. And deliver him na kuwa okoa. Or deliver them. Praise the Lord. Wana pewe sifa. We see that in the story of Lot. When Lot was uh, in trouble because of the people of Sodom, they wanted to sleep with their daughter and the sons and the visitors that were there. But the angels closed the door and it could not be seen again. The Lord by his angels will seal your life from every kind of temptation. The angels will keep our children. They will keep our spouses. They will keep our family members. Number four, recognize the blood of Jesus as our door of escape. Praise the Lord. Zechariah chapter 9 verse 11 to 12. As for, as for thee also by the blood of thy covenant. I have sent for the, the, thy prisoners out of the pit. Out of the prison. Look at Hebrews chapter 13 20. God used the same key. For Jesus to escape hell. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus. You can say from the death of sin. That great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of everlasting covenant. To this morning, this afternoon, we are receiving the blood of the communion. We are going to escape in the name of Jesus. Number five, be committed to serving God and the interest of his kingdom. Stay there. Don't give up serving God. Don't just sit down. There are many service groups. Join them today and be part of the service group. Praise the Lord. Malachi chapter 3 verse 17 and 18. Because God will rescue them that serve him. And you are one of them in the name of Jesus. Malachi please. Malachi please. And they shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make my jewels, and I will spare them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord will spare you. That means you will escape. Where others are trapped, you are spared. Why? Why? Bit, sorry, let's go back again. Seven. Spare them. A man spared his own son that served him. That served him. And verse 18, God will make a distinction among them that serve God. Number six, engage the testimony of others to escape. Psalms 119, verse 111. Begin to be listening to testimonies. I have taken as a heritage forever. Testimonies. They show you what is possible for you. Escape is possible for you. David remembered what God had done for him. And he escaped. And finally, recognize that faith is the only way to make our escape a reality. Faith Imani is what will make you escape. This cannot happen. The word of God says, I stand this ground. I will not enter into this thing. Faith 
you take the shield of faith, Ephesians 6, 16. You escape every snare of the enemy. Every one of us is escaping in the name of Jesus. Whatever was meant for evil, and it was marked over anyone's life. And you came for this service. You are escaping. Our families are escaping. Whatever trap the enemy has kept in this holiday. All of us and our families, we are escaping. But we have said to escape is by salvation. Father, we thank you for your word. Let's rise on our feet in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you thanks. We thank you, Father. Thank you for your word of escape. Thank you for your word of sanctification. We receive grace to make good choices. While you are making prayers before the Lord, there are some people in our midst you need to escape to salvation. Jesus is faithful to forgive you. There is no sin that he cannot forgive. And it is a personal choice. It's not a family choice. And you can't be ashamed on your neighbor. Because today is your day of escape. Let's bow our heads before the Lord. You are such a person here. You have received the word. Jesus loves you, but today is your day. Put your right hand on your chest and say, Lord Jesus, I have heard your word. I want to escape. Give me the grace in Jesus' name. Amen. You have made such a prayer. Pick your bag or your child and come to the altar. We pray together. Come. 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 Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Jesus will keep you. But refuse to remain in sin. Come quickly. We are waiting for you. Jesus is waiting for you. Today was your day. Come. Come. Step out of sin. Refuse to remain in sin. They are coming. And also the second category of people You are born again but you fell We have heard the word Jesus will keep you standing Come, rededicate your life He will uphold you He will keep you Come, Joe you are the one we are waiting for Jesus loves you The way you are But he wants to change your life from the power of sin. Come forward. Come forward. Don't be ashamed. We love you as a church. Come. 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 Yes, you are the one. Come. Come. Jesus loves you. Make a decision today. Take a step of faith. Come to Jesus. He will lift that burden from your heart. His blood is fresh to cleanse you and me. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. It's a personal choice. Choose today. Choose Jesus. Choose to escape. Come. Winners, I believe you are clapping for them. As you are clapping, the yoke is breaking. As you are clapping, fear is disappearing. As you are clapping, they are receiving courage to appear before Jesus. Come. Don't remain backslidden. Come. In Jesus' name. Congregation, let's have our seats before the Lord. Thank you for coming. You can still make your way here as you are praying. In Jesus' name. Put your right hand on your chest. Congregation, let's pray for them also. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I receive you today as my Lord and my Savior. Jesus, forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your blood. Today, I accept you and to follow you. Break the power of sin 
Unja nguvu ya dhambi in my life maishani mwangu and help me to follow you anisaidie nikufuate write my name ndika jina langu in the book of life kitabu cha uzima fill me Ijaze. with your spirit kwa roho wako that i may live for you ili kwamba niishi kwako in jesus name jina la yesu kristo amen Lord Jesus we commit every soul here before your hand keep them from falling until they see you face to face in Jesus name amen